Vigil is being held tonight for a teen shot and killed by a Border Patrol agent seven years ago. A jury found the agent, Lonnie Schwartz, not guilty of manslaughter. The 16-year-old Jose Antonio Elena Rodriguez was in Nogales, Sonora, when Agent Schwartz shot him through the border fence. Nine on your side, Natalie Terranjoli joins us live at the border with more. Natalie. Pat Valerie, we're in Nogales, Sonora tonight. In this area, this is roughly where Jose Antonio Elena Rodriguez was standing in 2012 when he was shot. You can see this memorial that's up for him here. The signature at the bottom says this was put up just last year. And you can see this cross as well with the balloon, the number seven, marking the years since he was shot and killed here. Now, this is a case that made international headlines. According to federal court testimony in 2012, people on the Mexican side of the fence were throwing rocks to interfere with Border Patrol agents. Agent Lonnie Swartz said when he fired 16 shots across the border, he was protecting himself and other officers. Swartz was found not guilty of manslaughter. He went to trial twice, and at last check, federal prosecutors say they won't pursue another. Prosecutors argued the threat was not severe enough to justify deadly force. And according to the Border Patrol Victims Network, the teen's family is awaiting a decision by the Supreme Court, which would determine if a civil lawsuit against Swartz can go forward. Now that organization also says court will deliberate next month on whether families of those killed by Border Patrol in Mexico have constitutional rights to sue in the U.S. courts. Now this vigil, it is set to start at six here and this is what I want you to take a look at. This is a picture of Jose Antonio that's right under the border fence on the Mexico side of this and his grandmother, there are some family members who are at this memorial site tonight. His grandmother told me they just finished retouching that just in time for the anniversary of his death. We'll have more on this as the schedule starts within the next hour coming up on KGA 9 News at 6. For now, reporting live in Nogales, Sonora, Natalie Terranjoli, KGA 9 on your side.